life science instrument suppliers are plowing resources into building relationship with scientists online. And it's no wonder. In our newly released report, Digital Marketing to Life Scientists, Social Media and Email Best Practices, we found that nearly half of scientists are using vendor-sponsored social media to support their research or work. That's a lot of eyeballs on your digital marketing messages. So we're delighted that you're able to join us today to talk about some of our recent findings on how to get the online conversation just right. My name is Mary Fallon. I'm the Marketing and Sales Manager here at Bioinformatics LLC. Today we're going to talk about some of the interesting findings from our just released report, Digital Marketing to Life Scientists, Social Media and Email Best Practices. We'll also talk about what's in the report, how to order it, and a limited time special promotion that I think you'll like. So for those of you watching this video, some of you know us and some of you don't. For almost 20 years, our team of scientists, business analysts, and statisticians have been conducting market research on scientific markets. We've done literally hundreds of published and proprietary studies for almost every major market in the scientific instrument industry. And we have a unique way of doing this. When other market research firms rely on purchase lists to field surveys and gather experts for focus groups, we go straight to the Science Advisory Board, our 73,000 plus network of scientific experts. We know a lot about each of our members, their areas of research, the tools they use, the brands they have experience with, and even what kind of influence they have over budget decisions. In other words, our respondents are highly qualified to tell us what you need to know about your products and services. So let's talk about what it's like to market to scientists in 2013 and beyond. The internet has turned marketing on its ear. A whole new way of communicating, social media and email outreach create conversation, relationship, and an ongoing exchange with the people who buy your products in ways that never could have been dreamed of before. And as with any party, it's the companies that know how to engage in meaningful dialogue that will win the popularity contest. What we do know is that in 2011, we found that only 29% of researchers liked it when vendors participated in the social media conversation. Today, that number has risen to over half. And in 2011, 18% of our respondents said they uh, didn't want you to participate. Now that number's dropped to 8%, certainly headed in the right, right direction for you. So, you want to be the most popular person at the party, but it's not always clear how to do that. As one marketing manager said at one of our client companies, it's also new and it's a struggle. A lot of guesswork, hunches, and trial and error go into building a digital marketing campaign. Questions arise that are difficult to get actionable answers to, and that's where we're here to help. Between September 24th in September 30th of this year, we surveyed 845 life scientists from around the world about their social media and email habits and preferences. The findings have been compiled in a comprehensive report on the best tactics for waging a powerful internet marketing campaign. Our goal is to help you make sense of the myriad of ways that scientists are open to finding out online about what you do. In this report, You'll learn how scientists are using social media to support their work. What are their favorite sites? How do they feel about vendors engaging in the conversation? Which vendors are getting it right? And which ones are missing the mark? You need to know how to influence scientists via social media channels. And in the report, we'll share with you what we found. And if you by any chance bought into the idea that email is dead, you may want to rethink that. In this study, we've learned that scientists rely heavily on email, and we're going to give you guidance as to how they want you to reach out to them. The most comprehensive study on this topic in the market today, if you are the one challenged to make your online outreach more effective, you'll want this report. So let's take a look at some of our findings. Social media is called social for a reason. Our respondents told us that testimonials and success stories from their peers comprise the number one and two slots on what makes them most likely to purchase from you. And while 23% of researchers are influenced by thought leaders and user groups, neither of those should be the leading strategy in your campaign. 
And how about those subject lines? Testing different ones is key to a successful blast, and this chart will make it easier for you to do that. It looks like there's no need to include yours or the customer's organization name in the subject line. Rather, make sure the subject line is related to the recipient's research or, and this may come as a surprise, your newsletter title. And while scientists tend to be explorers out in front when new technologies present themselves, they still have less of a tendency to go social at work than they do in their personal lives. That said, 14% of scientists are constantly using social media to support their research. And given the nature of this medium, we can most likely draw the conclusion that this 14% has pretty strong opinions and the urge to share them. So this is just a sampling of what you'll find in this report. We have multiple clients who've told us already that they're waiting for this report. We know how important this topic is to you. So why should you buy this report? Well, it'll make your job easier. It's tactical. This is a best practices guide developed by your customers, if you will. You'll get guidance on multiple aspects of how to implement social and email campaigns. Sure, you could test it yourself, but we've done that for you so you can quickly forge ahead and make your online outreach more effective right away. We know what you're doing. We've been surveying life scientists for almost 20 years and have been monitoring social media trends since the mid to late 1990s. With each order of our reports, we offer a free hour of consulting with our analysts. If you want to ask questions about the report or toss around what if scenarios, we're available to help you with that. And finally, now is the time to buy. Until November 22nd, we're offering the data set for free with each purchase of this report. Normally, the data set is $1,200, but until November 22nd, it's yours for free with your purchase. So, how much is it? The print copy is available for $3,200, and single-site and enterprise-wide electronic versions are $5,200 and $6,500, respectively. Plus, we'll also include the print copy with each electronic purchase. And don't forget, until November 22nd, you'll receive the data set free with your purchase. So, your final question might be, how do I place my order? Well, that's easy. Simply go to genedrug.com and order online. You can get right to the digital marketing report simply by clicking on the stack of social media cubes on the home page. Or if you prefer to talk to someone or if you have questions about the report, call Angela Fernandez at 703-778-3080 extension 14 or you can email her at a.fernandez at genetodrug.com. Thank you for spending time with us today. We look forward to speaking with you further about this report. We really do appreciate your time and your attention.